Rachel, of course, and this is my roomie Samantha. I'm sure you're very familiar with her. Hi. Hi. So we're doing something a little different today. I was out of town for a bit, and so was she. She took a little adventure to Canada. It's my first time. Yeah, that's right. It was one of your first times out of the country. You went when you were a lot younger to Mexico, but mm -hmm. this is like your first time like anywhere else. I'm an adult now. Use that passport. So I brought food, as you do. So we've seen people do this on other channels where people try snacks or foods from restaurants or from other countries or anything like that. And since Samantha went to Canada, she brought back a bunch of Canadian snacks and what's funny is the first thing that went off my mind was that would make a great video and then what did I say not two seconds after you thought that Rachel <laughs> exactly you said <laughs> you should do a YouTube video about this so guess what we're doing we are gonna try some snacks from Canada yay and I'm gonna do my best to try and explain these so sorry Canadian people if I like butcher your snacks and your heritage <laughs> I don't mean it I swear no sorry we're, we're just American American <laughs> so we have a bunch of snacks here and it's a good thing because I just got really hungry and by the way for the spirit of Canada we are wearing both red and white yay yeah and I was supposed to get flannel so Northwest represent since we already kind of got a couple things open why don't we start with those okay it's already like almost <laughs> empty actually you ate a lot of these There's there's a story about this. I kind of got the late night munchies really, really bad, and I kind of ate almost the whole bag. So it's Canada bacon pow. Oh, sorry, poutine. Poutine. Be quiet. <laughs> Canada bacon poutine. Am I saying that right? Yeah, poutine. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. I was confused. So it's because it's in both English and French. So it's Canada bacon poutine and under says poutine bacon which I guess is kind of like yes. the French way that they do it <laughs> and of course I'm already making a mess good job the history of poutine from an American's point of view some drunk person put gravy on some fries and then threw some cheese on top and went hey I made a national dish congratulations like you do in America um, so one of the things they do over there is they actually will put like different meats like bacon and chicken and stuff it's weird because it Here, does actually Tastes like poutine, but the texture is all weird. So I'm interested to see what you're gonna think of these. Okay. There you two want. Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. It's oh. actually really good. It, it reminds me of like onion chips, kind of. Mmm. But um. It's but like onion and like barbecue with like a little bit of barbecue smokiness to it. Right. Mm -hmm. It's weird, but like I kind of love it. These it's are actually really good. It shouldn't work, but it does. You uh -huh. see why I ate the whole bag? Now. I do see why I ate <laughs> the whole bag. Okay, so let's try something else. Let's try a candy this time. How about? Okay. Why um, don't we go ahead and try what's this? Um. um <laughs> so I love the title, Mr. Big. Yeah. That's um sexy. Big and, big and black, and it's got white stuff in the middle of it. <laughs> big and black. <laughs> Oh my god, so it's big and black and it's got white stuff in the middle of it if you can see that little so, candy, candy right there I have no idea the whole like if it's actually Canadian or not so right But if all else fails, it was a big black thing with white stuff in the middle. Wait are there Rice Krispies in here? Are there? There's Rice Krispies in here. It looks like it. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Mmm. 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 Yep, yeah, Rice Krispies. Marshmallow fluff. Mm. Marshmallow. Is there caramel? I feel like no. Yeah. Yeah, there is caramel in this. So marshmallow, rice krispies, caramel, and milky chocolate. This is delicious. This is really good. It's like when I was a kid, all I had was like butterfingers and stuff, and this one is actually like right. pretty tasty. I'm like, ooh, I'd want more of that. And I like moon pies, but mm -hmm. I don't like but I don't like graham crackers. So this is perfect. Like yeah. Instead of graham cracker, you do the rice krispies. Yeah, it's just like a moon pie. Oh my god, Canada. You're brilliant. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Canada. And I'm gonna have more smart chips because they're really good. These are really good. <laughs> this is like our palate cleanser. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I know, right? So, why don't you go ahead and choose one now? Only because I really am interested in trying them. This is another thing that is not, I don't know if it's completely Canadian, but I've never known Klondike to make anything else other than ice cream. Mm -hmm. And these are apparently Klondike sea salt caramel candy bites. Uh huh. And I think they got a little melted. So, so, so that's what they, the box looks like Klondike sea salt. What would you do for a Klondike bar, Rachel? I feel like, um, I'm good. I'm good, right? Because <laughs> I, I mean, there's better things than Klondike to me. I don't know, I didn't really grow up with Klondike bars. Klondike has like vanilla in it, right? No, yeah. so times. So I've never really been a vanilla person. I was like, even that mint chocolate or that um or to? rainbow sherbet. Oh gosh, that explains so much. Yep, that's so big like, for your personality. Vanilla is exact. Yeah, I'm vanilla, very vanilla is like too plain for me. I don't like it. Wait, is this dark chocolate? No, I don't. Yes, it is. Oh, is it? It is. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, so I didn't know that. I guess we'll find out whether this or not I like. That's okay. We're trying things. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mmm. Ah! Mmm. That like. Exploded. Yeah, I don't even respect that. It's like really fudgy. Mm, it is. That's delicious. Something small and black exploded in my mouth. 
and gooey. Yeah. <laughs> so it's caramel sea salt. That's actually really good. It's pretty good. Uh, I've never been a big fan of sea salt and dark chocolate, so it's okay. Uh, it's not the best thing I've ever tasted. But I wish it was more salty. Like, I hate sea salt that's not salty. I'm just gonna admit mm. on this one. If you like it though, that's fine. Heck yeah, I'll eat all of it. You know what I just realized though? No. I don't know if this is available in the US, but it says made in the USA. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Fail! Oh, sorry. No, I'm kidding. Canada, you betrayed me. That's fine. You bought it in Canada, so it counts. It counts. And it's got a polar bear on it, so that associates with Canada. Yay! A bit. Yeah. All right. All right. Palette cleanser. Mm, yes. Yes. Mm. Oh my god, I want more of these. This is actually speaking of Lay's and chips and palette cleansers. Okay. Great. This is a Pièce de Résistance. Here's the thing. You know what's funny is all their Lay's chips, even if they were plain or whatever, all had this Canadian leaf on it. Like, oh they were really? Specifically made for Canada. Gotcha. But the ketchup chips in particular, I know, are like very Canadian. However, I do not. I like ketchup? You don't like ketchup? No! Wait a minute, I've lived with you for like a year and a half and I never do this. You don't I, like ketchup? I don't eat condiments. I barely started eating mayonnaise like a year ago. I did not know this about so you. So I don't like ketchup, so I'm really scared like it's gonna be too ketchup-y. Oh, I lo ooh, look at that. That's a look, pretty color. Look at that color. The person in my whole entire life I ever knew who didn't like ketchup was my sister. So, this is different. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh! Bad very ketchup-y, yep. That's very ketchupy. <laughs> it's not spicy, but it has like a spicy, like, right, 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 right when you bite into it, it's like, what? It's spicy. like a burst, a it burst is. of flavor. That's, I mean, it's it good. Is. Here's the thing. If I like ketchup, I'd be so down for these. Uh-huh. However, because I do not, this is all you, girl. It kind of tastes like fries, like, completely dunked in ketchup, and I'm not a huge fan of that because I like just a little ketchup on my fries, but yeah. it's pretty good. By the way, if you hear any, um, shushing sounds in the background, that's because Berlioz is playing with a hair tie on the floor <laughs> over there. She bought so many toys for that cat, and then what does he play with? Freaking hair, hair ties. ties. <laughs> but I all this love for you, and I don't use it. I still love you, you stupid face. So this is coffee crisp. Oh, these, okay. They're apparently like Story. Kit Kats, but like coffee flavored Kit Kats. I know you don't like coffee I too don't. much. I don't. I don't like coffee. I don't, I've never liked coffee. I've heard of people like biting off the ends of these and then like sipping their coffee through it or like sipping milk through it. Interesting. I mean, I'm down to try it. I'm not even a big fan of coffee flavored things and it came in two little Thing big black news. things. So what is it with our big black things? I'm sorry. I know, there's a lot of big black things in this. Canada. Yeah. Here we go, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. Well, I just don't like coffee. <laughs> mm -mm. It kind of tastes like a biscuit. Or like a, oh no, a biscotti is the word I'm looking for. It tastes like a like a coffee flavored biscotti. You know what it tastes like? What? It tastes like um, British digestives, but like with the chocolate on the back of them. I don't know, digestives have this very distinct like taste to them. Mm -hmm. It's kind of more weedy. Okay. And I can definitely feel the coffee flavor in this, but I feel like it tastes more like wheat than anything. Like wheat? Yeah. Yeah, but it's really good. I mean, I could definitely drink it with coffee. Sure. I feel like you're cleansing with the ketchup chips. I kind of am. Here, <laughs> that's yours now. You can have it. Yay. Good, because I bought oh, like I'm seven of them. them. That you don't like. I bought like seven of these. So <laughs> perfect. I know her, and I know she doesn't like coffee. Oh, I hate coffee. <laughs> and I'm from Seattle, and everyone's like, wait a minute, isn't that like where Starbucks is? And isn't it like the coffee capital of like the US? Like, how can you not like coffee? I don't know, yeah. I just don't. The only reason that it threw me off is because in the kitchen, she has coffee decorations on the wall. So I thought, okay, she likes coffee because who else would put coffee decals on their wall if they didn't like coffee? That's what a lot of my friends said, but I just I just thought they looked cute. <laughs> and it's inviting for other people who come over here. Um, let's go ahead and try Smarties. Okay, so these are like Canadian M&Ms, I'm told, except yeah. like way better. I have seen Smarties other places, but I don't know that I've ever actually had them. So if this is from Canada though, then it's legit. Here's the thing that threw me off about Smarties. I think of Smarties like that really chalky, disgusting candy they tried to give you when you're a kid. That's and they what try... I, think, I think I'm thinking of. Right? Well, they try to pass it off like, ooh, mm, it's delicious. And I'm like, no, this is disgusting. So, I hope these Smarties are actually delicious. Are you having some issues? Maybe. This thing and I are working some things out right now. Well, I think it's winning. No, it's not gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna show it who's boss. Exactly. I think I can do this. Don't give up, girl. I'm a warrior. You can do it. Got it? Yes, I got it. Yay! So these come in these like tiny little boxes. We'll just like share one of them Thank so we can get like a little taste. Cool. Okay. Yeah, they literally look like m ms They do oh look like- Oh my god, they're purple! They're like- yeah, they're kind of like bigger M&M's and they have more colors to them. We've got oh purple, blue, and according to the box, there's also like orange and green and pink and stuff. Go ahead and show your hand. Just right. like, just, the, uh, just those colors. I take the purple ones. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. 
They are like M&M's. They're so good. But they're actually a teensy bit sweeter and they're crunchier. I love how crunchy they are. Yeah. I don't like the whole melt in your hand thing. Yeah. These are, these are wonderful. These are actually really, yeah, these are good. Oh my god, Nestle. I don't know if these already exist in America or not, but this is like really smart. Just like give your kids a small package rather than like a huge thing of M&M's. You well, know, I, like help save on the what unhealthiness. I, well, what I think this is, is kind of like, you know, we sell like the fun size candies and like right. for Halloween and stuff. Like I can see them selling these in like a big bag for <laughs> Halloween, that kind of deal. All right, there's a few more things to try. Our last bag of chips. So this is called Compliments, all dressed as... Oh, it's in French, so. They're apparently like onion and Couple vegetable bits. flavored, like some generic flavor. I don't even know. Okay, so they're orange. <laughs> they're kind of orangey. Um, it's called oniony. Yeah, oniony, orangey thing. Oh my god, they smell oniony. They do, I do like onion chips. Three, two, two one. Mmm. Yep, very oniony. Those are nice. But you know what? They taste like they're not nearly as bad as like the onion chips in the United States. <laughs> Those are really pleasant. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of the baked lay chips, which mm. are like, I know these aren't like the healthiest snack, but they are like so much better than like those greasy lay chips. It's you know? like the right amount of seasoning too. Like, yeah. I, you know what I want to do? I want to turn super Mexican with this. I just want to put like a bunch of hot sauce on this. I could see that. It's so good. It is really good. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get my, my mouth. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Like, Did you I just, just hit there <laughs> on the head? with a bag of chips, you're done. Go home, you're drunk. Okay, so the last thing we are now gonna try is car caramel, which I'm guessing means it's like caramel filled milk Yeah, chocolate. I think it melted a bit, but it's from Cadbury. And the only thing we usually get here in America for Cadbury is like around Easter time. So I was interested in trying something that was Cadbury, but not something we could get here. That's might, why I picked this one. But it might be a little too melty. We might need some scissors for this one. Are you okay, Bear? You okay? I'm sorry. More cat, more views. <laughs> That's how that works. All right, so this is a little melty, so we're cutting it up and trying to get some chocolateies out. All right, yeah, it's a little melty, <laughs> and it's kind of breaking up, too. Oh, poor Cadbury, it's too delicate. All right, so we're just gonna kind of pick some pieces, okay. and then we'll eat it from there, and then okay. the rest you can put in the fridge. Three, three two, two, one. Mm. That is so sweet, oh my god. It is very sweet. Ah! Tastes pretty normal. It's like just caramel and chocolate, not a lot of variation. I'm not digging that. it. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of boring. I prefer the Smarties. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah, Smarties are good. I like the ketchup chips and I like the first, there are little, these my munchie too. snack. Yeah, munchie <laughs> snack. I like the all dress chips. I like my little munchie snack. Oh, we totally forgot one of our bars. I just remembered. So we have one more. So it's called O. Henry and um, I'm, Maybe this is from Canada originally, but I like that it's called Oh Henry. There should be a maple leaf right there for like, Oh Canada, you know, <laughs> like the anthem I should feel like. I had a coworker, he's originally from the East Coast and he lives in Montreal now. He said this replaced his favorite candy bar from Snickers. So now he, this Ooh. is his favorite candy bar ever. And I said, though, those are mighty tough words to be putting against Snickers. So. Well, I like me some Snickers. So let's see how this right. tastes. Here we go. Three, Eight, two, two, one. one. Oh God. It does kind of taste like a Snickers. So oh, good. But it's really good. I've never had this before. I can see how this could replace your favorite candy mm -hmm. bar. Yeah, it's really good. This was dark chocolate. For you, yeah. Oh, <laughs> now, I'm really glad we got that one last because these ones were super boring. <laughs> that was a good one to end on. Yeah, good job. This is junk. All right, so surprise, we have one more thing to try. Um, Samantha got some rose gin from Canada too. I don't know if you can see that so, so well. But one of my goals for Canada was to bring back a truly unique Canadian liquor. This company is based in Canada. It's all like bottled and made there. It's supposedly really good. It's mm -hmm. gin with rose uh, petals. Oh, nice. And rose hips, I believe too, which is all really good for you. So. Just a little, little tip. Ready? Here we go. Cheers. Three, two, one, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. I could see that with like just. Woo! Ooh. Oh my god, that's strong. It's very strong, but like with a gin and tonic. I'm not a big tonic person, but I could totally imagine someone liking that. I was about to take a sip, I could totally smell the roses. <laughs> so. It, it got like a garden. To, yeah, so it got to my palate, I think, just in time. That was lovely. But it was quite nice. It's very strong. A little strong for me personally, but I could totally see that mix with something really nice. Thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you, Canada, for all the nice treats. And if you like this video, guys, please be sure to subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and share it with your friends and everybody so we can keep making videos. And as I promised, we are also going to be putting out two more videos this week because I was away last week and I didn't get any out, so be sure to stay tuned. Thank you so much, Ruby, so much for participating. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, Dorka Bye! I'm gonna go get drunk. <laughs>